Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Well, it's, uh, it's Friday night. This will probably go up Saturday. What a week. Man, you know, Monday night, my daughter, Maddie, she drove her bike off a six foot ledge and uh, apparently TikTok has rules about that. She's going to make a full recovery, some scratches, bruises, concussion. And then today at school, a child, he busts his head open on the playscape. Just just a week. It's been a week. It's been a week. You may have noticed I'm a lot slimmer now. I've lost 32 pounds. Thank you. Anyway, my name is Rick Alvarez. Welcome to Cut the Tape. So here's where they play the intro music. No, they can't. They, would, they wouldn't be able to hear me during this part because the intro music's playing. About to come back. Welcome back. All right. So tonight it's all about Cheetor. That's right, it's all about Cheetor. So I got a couple things uh, of Cheetor that we're gonna open. I thought we would open the Nextflix uh, Walmart exclusive uh, Cheetor. And then there's the Red, or is it Reed? Uh, yeah, the Reed Cheetor. Uh, that's uh, basically a six inch Marvel figure. Uh, a black series, if you would, if you're a Star Wars collector. And then if there's time, we're going to open up. This is a Lucky Draw Beast Machines Cheetor. So uh, we got a couple things to open. Let's get to it. First, let's start with the most basic thing, which is the Nextflix Cheetor. Who would have thought that 2020, 2021 would be the year of Cheetor, right? There's so much Cheetor coming out. Cheetor, I think, has been cemented as... A tier B character in Transformers. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this is uh, an exclusive repaint. This is more cartoon accurate. Cartoon accurate uh, compared to the original CGI Beast Wars, which came out in the 1990s. <clears throat> so, we're going to open that. We've got instruction booklet. And we've got our figure one thing and this is for the, all the grandparents watching you have to look on the back because when you're opening this for your grandkids boy or girl you gotta check the back because there's toys in here so i'm gonna tell you a story about this when i was a kid i moved to south america and my mom had bought a bunch of Transformers and put them in a box and she wanted to give them to me over the course of a few months because she wasn't sure if they sold Transformers in Venezuela. I, of course, discovered the box. And in the box was uh, Crosshairs, uh, the Twins, and um, Sure Shot. I think there was someone else, too. Anyway, the twins had no weapons because my mom never took the weapons out of the box. She didn't include the instructions of any of them, so I didn't get any sticker sheets or instructions. She threw the weapons to the twins away, brand new. Um, but the Target Masters at least made it for uh, Crosshairs and Sure Shot. This, this is awesome. This is a fair... I mean, this is way better than the original generation Cheetor, right? This is 10 times better. I, I mean, 10 is an arbitrary number. This is so much better than the Cyberverse, which, again, is for a different audience. 
yes, he holds his weapon like the original uh, toy, but he can also hold it like the prototype seen in the pictures. He's got movable wrists. He's just missing that stomach cannon. Ah, I want someone to print that stomach cannon. I think I'm going to do the weapon like this because it reminds me more of the Transmetal Cheetor, which to me is my favorite Cheetor, Transmetal Cheetor. Man, that blue just, it's perfect on him. The face doesn't look as young as I want it to look. But again, this is this is a, a chug figure. This is great. I love it. I, I'm giving this guy... I'm giving this guy seven and a half ricks out of 352,000. All right, now let's move on to the read. Based Wars. What I don't get is that art. Is that indicative of Cheetor? Is that really who Cheetor is as a character? Because the art doesn't seem to match what's on the back. It doesn't match the personality that's being sent by the figure. I mean, if someone were to Photoshop that into Dinobot colors, would you stop and say, oh, that's just Cheetor in Dinobot colors? It's like that meme, what if I told you you just read the first sentence wrong? It's like that. Anyway, I've had limited experience with the Red series. I've got a whole bunch of them waiting for me to open. Let's just get to it. It's Cheetor Friday. You know, normally I would take the blade and I would, if this was a box I was keeping, I'd pop it open like that. But this is, you know, I buy two of everything, one to keep and one to throw away. So we've got a little communique inside. This is just, uh, I guess, copyright information in various languages. You've got all the weapons here. And, oh, we got the stomach cannon. That's, you know what? That's what I want the most. You've got a cool insert, which has the, um, I would guess, schematic of the figure. <clears throat> but you got that. Oh. oh, it fits. It fits. Look at that. Boom. Boom! He's got the stomach cannon. Boom. It looks a little small. <clears throat> All right. So red, what is red? Red is realistic, ethereal, robot enhanced design. But I mean, what does that mean? Robot enhanced design. So they have the black series for Star Wars. I guess they have the red series for Transformers, and then for Marvel, what are they gonna have, the blue series or the, the gold series? I, I don't know. All right, so that piece instantly came off. I don't know if that's supposed to be glued down or not, but I guess not because he's got a good ab crunch in there. See, if we take that out, oh. Hmm, I wonder if that's supposed to be glued glued in all right so the red series are interesting because unlike marvel star wars let's say he-man you can't borrow a leg of this stormtrooper and put it on a new stormtrooper figure and only tool up part of it transformers unless you're looking at a car robot brother a seeker a troop builder they are very specific right so, who could you redeco this as? Well, you've got a number of options. You got Shadow Panther and other Cheetors. <clears throat> let's look at the uh, <clears throat> let's look at the accessories. We've got two additional sets of hands: open hands, weapon hands. We've got two blast effects and a pile of energon, raw energon which is why they have their beast modes to protect them from the raw or john the hands come off very very easily which i appreciate 
I would just say that's a little bit too small. It's a little bit small. There is a good amount of paint deco on these. And you know what? Transformers have transcended to become more about the IP and the characters that they represent rather than the transformation. So this toy does not need to transform for me for it to be a good toy. This is an excellent representation of Cheetor. It doesn't need to transform. That doesn't mean let's stop making toys that transforms because that takes away the fundamental DNA of the brand. It just means, hey, the brand can sustain other expressions of the characters. So here is A blast effect. I like that. Pretty good. Now, where to put this? Does it go on the Beastwar shelf? Do I put the red series by themselves? So right now, my other two reds that I have loose, Soundwave and Megatron, are with my PVCs from 20 years ago. I kind of think he's going to go into that direction with the Mega PVCs. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of think we're going to go in that direction. Because, I mean, red is supposed to take place all over the the spectrum. The, the robot-verse of Transformers. I do appreciate they are making some Transformers Prime figures. Especially RC and Knockout. <sighs> Beast Wars. Hmm. Hmm. i tell you who I'd want to see but we'll never get his quick strike. And Inferno, Beast Wars Inferno. I wonder if there'd be a red movie figure line. Hmm, interesting. Is it needed though? What about a Star Saber, an Overlord? Are they needed? Do kids know enough about Cheetor to buy this? I would say yes. Do kids know about, enough about Transformers Prime RC 10 years later to buy it? I would say no, but then Red is targeting a different audience than kids. But when grandma and grandpa and aunt and uncle go shopping, they don't know that. And sometimes they determine value by the price. So if they're looking at a $20 figure versus a six dollar legends figure the kid might like this because it's more expensive when in reality the kid wants this because they're a kid and they want the experience of transformation this is all i mean you could write a whole thesis on this you are two cheetors beautiful all right, where's my knife? Um, here is the Beast Machines Takara exclusive Cheetor. Uh, it's black and chrome. You know, we were actually talking about characters you can repaint and stuff. And we were talking about Seekers and the Car Robot Brothers. So like the Dotson Brothers, Prowl, Blue Streak, um, Lambo Brothers, Deep Cover, Clamp Down, Red Alert, Sideswipe. And, um, yeah, I just got this guy sitting here, and I know it's Cheetor Night, but I really just want to complete, complete these guys on the shelf. So let's, so let's give this guy a go. All right, Thrust. Remember when, you probably don't remember this because you're too young, but back in the day, we did a, not to talk about not con, but back in the day when it was good, we did a BotCon exclusive set, which had Thrust Ramjet and Thundercracker in it. And I remember Thrust was the last one that we revealed and everyone's like, oh, 
you just sway it's just going to be ramjet colors i'll wait for the real one and then we showed the new wings and everyone shit a brick you know that year was different because that year we didn't have a whole lot of money to spend on heads so rather than spending the money on the heads we spent the money on new wings for chug thrust I will say, while Takara was under no obligations to make their thrust different, they did make him different enough and retooled the wings because those wings were technically owned by Brian Savage and still are. I really like the size of, of this mold. I, I really do. I always feel that Seekers should be bigger than... Autobot cars Just because they're they're bad guys. There's less of them. They're also planes planes to cars. I Like the fact that these guys are warriors. They're built to battle built to battle I kind of feel we should have used that title somewhere built to battle where the Autobots are things such as archivist and musicians or gymnast I, I guess jazz a gymnast I, I don't know he's a music I, I don't know all right so Voyager deluxe Voyager deluxe I think it's a perfect size perfect size differentiation between the two classes now, I remember when Deluxes were Voyager size back in the days of Beast Wars. That's showing how old I am. But this is perfect. This is great. I, you know what? I'm, I'm really happy with everything we've opened tonight. I'm happy with this because of the accuracy to the colors. I, I feel bad for the people who bought the first one. And now, hey, here's another one. And this one is the one you wanted because it's show accurate or more show accurate this is great i've made a determination now that i've talked it out that all right red figures are going to live with my pvc figures mega fcf figures we talked a little bit about troop building and so i want to get to this was there something else i need to open no i think that was it i think that was all i was supposed to open tonight thought there was something else all right well anyway thanks for joining us on cut the tape uh remember to wash your hands remember to be kind to other people and always find time to cut the tape even if it's a few years later make the time to cut the tape no matter how you enjoy your collection whether it's in box or sealed or whether you play with it no one has a right to tell you how to enjoy your collection. No one has a right to tell you how to play with your toys, how to display your toys. And no one has a right to tell you that they're a true collector. There is no such thing as a true collector. You either collect or you don't. And that's it. And that's okay. And we all collect in our own way. Be kind to each other. Have fun. And... Get vaccinated. Ciao.